if you've watched our channel at all, you know we're crazy about Airstream. So it was inevitable and we did it. Total we mess. have a lot of stuff in this RV. We've accumulated a lot of things and the Airstream is smaller. Yeah, we're getting rid of a lot of our stuff <clears throat> and we're downsizing. Again. Again. What I didn't tell you, and we'll tell you more about the Airstream later because we're going to pick right it up on Monday. Yes. You see that bag, bag right there? What that is, we're crazy for doing this. And we didn't realize it would all fall the way that it did. We are picking up the Airstream on Monday, transferring over boxes. Tuesday morning at 5.30, we are leaving for the to the airport because we're going to Alaska. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, when we get back, I have to go back to work. He'll still be off, so he'll be able to put a lot of the stuff away, but I'm going to be digging through boxes, trying to get ready for work. <laughs> and yeah, in a smaller space that is not organized yet. So it's going to be okay. We have an Airstream, so it doesn't matter what else happens. We have an Airstream. <laughs> we're good <laughs> but we have a lot to do and we're looking at each other and we're so tired I don't even know what time it is we're gonna get we're gonna get working because we're not even gonna be able to go to sleep until we get all this off oh my gosh look at Paul he's doing my jewelry one necklace per sandwich bag Her sandwich bag, one necklace. Because I buy the really long beaded. They're so pretty. Look how, man, look how sparkly that is. This is bad as Christmas lights. <laughs> Sometimes worse. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Look at him packing my jewelry. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Hey, we're gonna have a really good time. We're not going to worry about the Airstream sitting there loaded full of boxes. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. Paul's standing here looking at me like... <laughs> Bad things to do. <laughs> Quit talking and start working. I better get working. No. Think we can pay for the Airstream with that? No, not yet. Paul wants to know if that money if that change is enough to pay for the Airstream. <laughs> They're not cheap. Babe, you're gonna be so sore. I'll relax on the cruise. Put me on the boat, I'll be good. <laughs> Look at this mess. Oh, yeah. Not all of these boxes are we keeping. Like um, a lot of the boxes is stuff that we're giving away, that we're giving to my daughter, um, stuff that I'm not sure about. So we're gonna store it in Chelsea's garage and then I'm gonna go back through it once we're settled in the Airstream and decide, do I wanna keep it? Do I have room for it? Do I love it? Or do I wanna get rid of it? Look, y'all, you know Paul built me that beautiful alcohol cabinet that was just for alcohol. So just that alone was like, one full box after I weeded out about 10 bottles of alcohol or more. So that left about seven bottles of wine. So his sister and I drank one because we have to get rid of it. And then I figured there was one for Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. <laughs> Just kidding. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Some of you may be very uh, surprised that we put all of this work into the RV and now we're trading it in. I will tell you that we've had some continual struggles with um, the slides. Paul has readjusted our super slide several times. We've actually had trouble with all three of our slides and that they wouldn't close all the way, they needed to be adjusted. Um, Paul was able to adjust the 
two smaller slides and fix them. But the super slide has been a real challenge. He's tried adjusting it several times. What he has found is that there is a part on the wall um, over the door where the frame, the structure of that wall where that super slide is, is actually damaged. It has caused it to actually bend the framework of that wall and that would not be anything that we could fix. By far it is the most beautiful layout of any RV that I have ever looked at. Like it will always be my favorite layout and I'm really going to miss this RV so I'm excited to get an Airstream but I really do love this RV and um, I am sad to to let go of it, but we have to look forward, right? Airstreams aren't for everybody, especially for full-time living. Like they look cool and everything, they're all American. I'm a little nervous about going to the smaller space. We were so excited when we uh, you know, signed the paperwork for the Airstream that we went and looked at all of his long weekends from now until the end of the year, and we just booked um, RV sites <laughs> so we could travel in different places that we've been wanting to go. So we're super excited about that. We're super excited to get on the road more is what I'm trying to say. And the one thing about Paul and I is that we are very good about taking spaces and personalizing them. Very good at that. So y'all know all over my YouTube channel, it's going to be Airstreams everything. Airstream, Airstream, Airstream. So, you can't get an Airstream and not be all decked out for the occasion, right? So my daughter, she actually made us Airstream t-shirts and she also made us t-shirts for every stop in Alaska that we're going to. So we'll be modeling our t-shirts with, like she made one for Juno, she made one for Victoria, Canada, all of our ports of call. So we're going to be wearing our matching Airstream shirts tomorrow to go pick up our RV. Have you full-time ladies out there ever seen these? This is really old, but it's a hair dryer and a curling brush, so it takes up less room in the RV. I like it. Perfect, but it'll do. Let's get to work. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do. Let's get started. Okay guys, we are getting ready to take a load over to Chelsea's house and drop some other things off to my son William's house and Lonnie, our stepson, you've seen him in another video, has brought his truck over to help. So we've got stuff in my car, stuff in his truck and stuff in his truck. We're taking a big load. So here we go. This is gonna be by far our biggest challenge and you guys get to come along with us for this challenge. We're excited for it, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm nervous about the smaller space, I really am. But this is what Paul and I do. The stuff that absolutely I love, the stuff that absolutely means something to me, no matter what it is, I won't get rid of. I don't believe in doing that. Um, and we don't want to spend the money for storage. So if it's something that I really love and something that I want to keep, then we have to find a way to make it work. I won't get rid of it. Just because you shouldn't have to do that. Not when you're full-time RV living. You got to find a way to make the things you really love um, work 
because otherwise you're not going to love full-time RV, RV living. You gotta make it work for yourself and not compromise on the things that are really important to you. But there's a lot of stuff that is somewhat important <laughs> that you want and you know, okay, I, this isn't reasonable. I gotta get rid of it. I have one box marked, I don't know. So <laughs> we just marked it, I don't know, and threw stuff in there that I was like, I really, I kind of would like to keep this, but I probably don't have room for it, so I just stuck it in the box. And once we're completely moved in with all the stuff that we know we have to keep or want to keep, uh, then I'll go back through that box again and I'll reassess it and see if it is important enough to try to make fit. So the thing about a small space is that you do use every square inch, but you also don't wanna have a lot of clutter. You wanna have what you need and the things that you love and organize them in a way that you don't feel cluttered, but everything has its place. And that's where we literally, we're up to five boxes now of just storage containers. <laughs> <laughs> and every time we go into an RV, we realize that the storage containers that fit the place in our other RV doesn't necessarily fit the storage spaces in our new RVs. And so we end up getting rid of a lot of the storage containers we invested in and having to get new ones to fit the new space. <sighs> that guy has a snake skin tied to the back of his truck. <laughs> we are so in Texas. So the reason that we have the kayaks over at Chelsea's is if you notice on Paul's truck, let me show you, on his truck at the top we have kayak racks and you've seen the, if you've watched previous videos, you've seen the kayaks on the top. Um, but because the Airstream has, um, not a lot of room it doesn't have the base storage that we had in the other rv so the way that we're doing it is paul's truck will have a camper shell on it and the things that we need to keep in a bay will be actually in the back of paul's truck so when we get the camper shell put on the back of his truck we'll have to get different kayak racks that will work with that camper shell look the truck is silver airstream silver we're gonna match Hi! Give me kisses. Give me kisses. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> she loves her Nini. <laughs> ah! This is my grand puppy. Her name is Mercedes. And, um,. I have to FaceTime with her when I FaceTime with the other kids. <laughs> Seriously, when I FaceTime the kids and Mercedes hears, she starts wagging her tail and comes up to the camera. So I have to FaceTime Mercedes. <laughs> she is such a sweet dog. I think pits are very misunderstood. I mean, they, you know, some of them can be mean, but... I think they're very misunderstood. She has the sweetest, sweetest dogs. Dog, I love her. Oh my God, I got hair up my nose though. Ah. Okay. First thing Leighton did is come over and ask me if I had my oils because he hurt his foot and wanted me to put my oils on him. <laughs> so I gotta find him and put oils on him. That's what I'm gonna do. Next time you're down and have time, bring it over. Sister, what did you do? Oh my gosh. You had a wreck, baby. Did you have a wreck on your Oh, come here, sister. Are you okay? That <laughs> Sister, are you okay? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. She's such a hot. She's just gonna get back. Look, there she goes. She didn't even like. There she goes. Better really get that land. Yeah. You want to cut all these trees down? You'll be able to do it. Man, that's that thing. 
We can do it anyway. Oh, it hurts. Get, uh, we and bring it over here. Yeah. Feel better? Yeah. Okay. My eight-year-old boy. What did I tell you about growing up? I said, stop it. <laughs> Come here, Lances. Mmm, you December baby. Who mm -hmm. took you out? Me. Uh, Nini. Nini, I was there. Mama was passed out. It was Nini that was there for you. No, I was there for you, buddy. All right, what's next, boss? Uh, go inside, pack some more. <laughs> oh, this is not cool to come home to. Hey, we're on the downhill run. <laughs> yeah, look, all those boxes, most of those boxes got moved. Okay, side. back to the grind. So much for the sign. Going Fifth the wheel. Garbage. Time for a new sign, one with Airstream. <laughs> Are you excited, babe? Yes, I am. We'll get it tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna cook up the pork chops. <clears throat> I'm gonna cook up the rest of the potatoes. Lonnie's gonna eat dinner with us. So we used that up, and um, I just realized that I packed my spices. <laughs> but I gotta dig them back out of the box. In the morning, we are loading this RV up that has been our home for all this time. And we are gonna go trade it in for an Airstream. Super excited, but wow. Wow, we're doing it, guys. Because you know, it's about change. It's about change. We're open to change, which is why we're in this lifestyle in the first place. This is our biggest leap, but we, are very excited. I don't know if you can tell, but we're very excited. We're tired because of all the work that we're doing, getting everything packed, but um, but we are excited. Okay, everyone, we're done. We have packed everything up in this RV. We spent our last night in it last night, and Paul has drained the tanks, and we are getting ready to go turn it in Ready to pull out and head to Katie. I'll give you a walkthrough of this RV and then it is no more. Thanks everybody for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and uh, click the bell if you haven't already to let you know of upcoming videos and everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. train